Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I'm your host, Anon Jr., and, um, well, a lot of the original plans I had kind of fell through, so today is going to be a little more randomly random. Um, <laughs> you're probably wondering why I have this shield and this tri- excuse me, and this trident. It is because I spent some time, um, <laughs> Uh, over the weekend, and one of the things we're about to see, like you'll notice I no longer have a stairway of temporariness over there. I've got two staircases up from here. Uh, I still need to work on the transition and rearranging this into a proper basement, but that, that depends on actually knowing what I want to do with said proper basement. So, yeah, you know, turnarounds and roundabouts. <clears throat> <laughs> this heads up into a properly finished floor with properly finished walls and a ceiling design too. Um, I did this under the porch because it was as reminiscent of this as I could get. I, I would have rather used the terracotta, but there are no such things as terracotta slabs and full blocks just didn't look right. Uh, so, oh yeah, terracotta slabs, please, please. Uh, and then I did that and I started trying to figure out what I was going to do with the roof because again, no terracotta slabs. So I couldn't do the roof design that's over on the green side, on the warp side. And I kind of like this. I kind of like this enough that I might tear <laughs> tear down the roof on the other side and uh, take uh, take this and do that for the entire roof. That, that might give it a little more something. I'm still going to keep the, the stair-stepped in curvature there. That does give both of these a different feel. And I, I tried to get something that looked made the window look a little more supported or something. I'm not in love with it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm still not. I'm still not 100% sold uh, on this. I, I think it's the wall. But when I tried an upside down stair there, that didn't work. When I tried a slab there, that didn't work. Uh, so I'll have, I'll have to think about that. And figure that out a little bit more. I, I just kind of wanted uh, some supports running across there. And uh, we'll get to that. If you remember too, when I was putting out the floor, I noticed that the, the wall was like two blocks too short for a full pattern. And I needed to either move the wall in or out. I, I sort of compromised. So this first little bit of the wall is far enough to allow the floor pattern. And then I... <laughs> literally stair-stepped it in a block for a little bit and then stair-stepped it in a block for a little bit so at the top it's at the original wall position and at the bottom we got the full floor in and I kind of like that 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 literally uh, reminds you that that is the outside of the mountain so you, you've got that gentle slope um, like the outside uh, Am I going to get assaulted? I, I still got to figure, figure out the door. This is not a permanent door. I want to do some sort of 3x3 three three door. Um, redstone door. And preferably something with some glass. Because I'm tired of, of stepping out here for something and getting jacked by a skeleton. Uh, which is kind of what I did. So that's this side. Uh, and I kept this short like I wanted. I, I do like that a lot better. I, I am even... I'm even tempted to move everything back a, a block, so that's only two wide instead of three. But then I gotta move these stairs, and that puts the stairs too close to the door. And so, probably not. The other thing I did is, for the same reason, when I go out the front door, I'm tired of getting uh, mugged by skeletons. So I put in some side windows here. I'm not sure how I like that. I might remodel it a little bit more. Um, I like the idea of it. 
but I may I may need to redo this arch a little bit so I can get the full arc of windows, maybe? I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I, I, I foreshadowed the shield and the trident, because uh, while I was working on that, I kept waiting for lightning storms. And you'll note by divots like that one there, and that one there, and that one there, and uh, a couple that I also cleaned up like that one there, <laughs> that uh, I've been running around with the channeling trident for the uh, the the creeper heads. Uh, I went hunting some uh, charged creepers, and my trident of channeling was the natural weapon of choice so I managed to get I managed to actually keep two of them <laughs> so we've got our creeper charge banner pattern um, I had earned a couple more but the other creeper wanted to get in on all the fun and blew up the stuff that got blown up by his charged creeper brethren. Uh, <clears throat> so I ended up losing out on that one. Um, oh, I guess it's not a thunderstorm. So that's kind of where that is. I've got a few different projects that I need to do, but I haven't really... Uh, I haven't really managed the prep for. I had intended to do some of that when I got home from work early today, and I sat down for a half hour nap, and four hours later woke up. Um, that did feel better, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I definitely needed that. On the other hand, that left me slightly unprepared, so it was going to be kind of random. Uh... <clears throat> I've got a couple options on the project front. So on this side, I've got some of the greenery farms. Like I've got the four, the two high flower farms. I got the weeping vine, uh, a little bamboo. That's been doing actually pretty good. A uh, little sugar cane. That's not been doing very good, but sugar cane always grows slow. So, you know, anyway, this is meant to run in the background in case I need like some paper or something uh, in a pinch while I'm over here. Um, and the, the warped twisting vines, a twisting vine farm. Um, I still get a few others. Like if I want the glow lichen, I need to get a little glow lichen farm going. If I want more of the glow berries, I need to get that going. Uh, so I figured I'd put those over here. You know, the glow lichen, the glow berries, uh... I might put a kelp farm, or I might put the uh, cactus farm proper. So instead of that little little slice down there, uh, get it up here with this. And, and it's just trying to figure out what I want to put in here as far as those farms, and what I can fit in here as far as those farms go, because those are two very different things. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to put a pickle farm in here, but I can't fit it in the room that I've cut for myself. So that's gonna have to that's gonna have to go somewhere else. Maybe maybe I'll put it off the room in the back there, uh, and have an aquatic themed room there because th this is keeping the same grassy, you know, overworldy kind of feel to it instead of the underwater. So uh, the glowberries, the glow like, and I may put a vine farm in there, uh, <coughs> and and uh, a small cactus farm. I still wouldn't mind having a little a little melon pumpkin farm off to the side just so that way that I've got those handy too. By the by, the coffee's why I'm running a little bit behind. It was just finishing up and I was like, do I go live on time or do I get the coffee? I'm gonna get the coffee. Priorities. So I might I might work on some of that. Uh, I've also got the I was gonna set up a proper potion room because I just had the one brewing stand over there, and I'd let I don't need a auto potion of fire resistance because we're gonna get more than we need out of the hoglin trading. 
Uh, but I, I was using a fair number of the night vision potions. Some instant health would be kind of nice, too. Um, mm, pork chops. Uh, so I was going to maybe put uh, two, three, four, if I can fit it, of the auto potion stands over here. You know, where I just walk up, pop a button, and then go. And then maybe have something set up over here, taking up this wall. Um, I'm not sure how I want to set this up. If I just want to have like a funnel and I drop everything in and have a couple of, a couple of potion stands, like one there and one there, feeding, feeding in from the top. On the other hand, uh, I might also set this up... Um, so I've got rows of ingredients on each side. And uh, two, two potion brewing stands. So I run over here and I pop the button, pop the button, and get what I want out of it, maybe. Uh, I've seen a few different designs, but I think this will be one that I try to work out for myself. Uh, maybe. I don't know. On the other hand, the... the those tend to be rather large, and that might be a better fit for the longer wall instead of trying to do it tall. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Because, uh, I, I, again, I'm not entirely sure what potions I would need. Like, I'm not going to need potions of swiftness all the time, or slowness, or leaping. Um, maybe some strength potions for the next time we take on the dragon because we do want to get some more of the portals from the dragon uh, <clears throat> and those tend to come in handy or potions of slow falling although I still got to get the uh, I still got to get the uh, um, I still got to get the memory and all right let me just nap on the couch here real quick I still got to get the phantom farm going. And I'm going to do that. I think I got the screenshots from the old one, but not really like the build setup. Um, but it's basically going to be the same the same phantom farm that I did in... Ow! That I did in Season 1. And I'm actually thinking about over here at the mob farm. Um building it up top here. So, after you've been AFK for a while on the mob farm, you just crawl up to the, uh, the, the phantom, the phantom trap and go from there. Uh, oh, I also raised the roof on this. I found out the hard way that the, the low roof counts as an obstructed bed. So, you know, medic had last slept here. We went to go do another project. He died and went back to spawn. Which has led to the next little bit to show off. Uh, down this way. Uh, hang on. I forgot. I need, uh, I need some... <laughs> I need to put on some golden boots before uh, somebody gets mad at me about that. I almost wonder if I should put some ender chests up here, too. <laughs> I know. I, I'm about ready to put, just put them everywhere, everywhere. Because I think there's one at the, at the downstairs portal. Uh, so we've got this going out to the desert, the red desert in the Mesa. I may still ask Reyes to straighten out that path for me, because that is, that is looking... Um, we'll call it special. Special's a word. Um, these mushrooms of... Uh, definitely gone up to although the brown ones haven't spread as much I might I, I am half tempted to put a mushroom farm together up here uh, like an automated mushroom farm just so that way we got that for the uh, um, fermented spider eye words wow okay that goes off to the end portal uh, the stone Stone slab goes off to the portal at spawn. The warped 
uh, sorry, the crimson slabs go off to the pork chop farm, and uh, I'm gonna get the uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get some uh, some uh, prismarine slabs to the angry fish temple. Uh, and I don't know if I'm just going to combine the three into one because, seriously, they're, they're like, all right next to each other. So this one pops off to this side here. And et voila, this takes you back to world spawn. So now we got a shortcut back. Uh, I do need to get Mr. Piggy moved somewhere so he doesn't shoot you as you try to get to the portal because you clearly have nothing on you. Uh <clears throat> If Arcadius is willing to get on, we might go here and just uh, start working on uh, clearing out the water for the temple. And then right over this way. Oh, that's right. I need to get more uh, crimson slabs to come here to the uh, pork chop farm. Which, uh, by the by, is full. <laughs> so that is one, two, three, four, five, six times four. That's 24 double chests full of pork chops so uh anybody on the server hello beach duck so anybody on the server if you need pork chops <laughs> there's plenty of food i i i am deeply curious how long uh 24 double chests of pork chops will go uh although i say that and i'm down to 11 so let, let's grab another half stack and uh supplement that a minute and that's that farm by Logical Geek Boy. I still, I still want to do a little decoration down here and encase the redstone in something that looks less horrible. Uh, I've got some crimson, crimson planks left over from um, the the back room of the castle. So I don't know, maybe. And we still have to uh, <laughs> Angry Fish Temple because I couldn't remember the the proper name. And all Reyes is going to say is something about the angry fish anyway. There they are. Those guys. They were the ones who got mad at me when I, to get, when I went to get some kelp. I found out that pack spawning had them uh, outside the wall. But we'll, we'll have to deal with something. We'll have to do something about those guys. You know, I'm kind of surprised. For some reason, I, I thought the... Uh, I thought those guys went after the dolphins, too. Is it just the squid? It might just be the squid. But that's a thing for for maybe a little bit later. Or maybe after we get some regen potions. <laughs> this has been working pretty well. I still haven't fixed that the platform is asymmetric. It, it's been on, on the agenda. Uh, I think I think I might be able to rework this so that way uh, the carpet duplicator is tied to the furnaces themselves. Uh, I'm actually tempted to just build a large buffer, like a, a double chest or a couple double chest buffer for um, for the furnace queue. And then tie all this to one or two furnaces. And that means that I could pull out these two layers here. And that would give me room to put the redstone to automate this. So that way when, like, if I got rid of these two strips, when that, I could set up an observer looking off to the side, which would trigger an on-off. Um, and tie it to that furnace there. Maybe. That, that, that's kind of the thought that I'm running around. And no, I'm not going to open up the chest and show the stuff because that guy gets a little cranky every time you open up the chests. Although, I probably ought to do it. I need to... Oh, that was the other thing I need to do. I need to get seven of his friends and <laughs> figure out where I'm going to put the trading hall. I don't know if I want to put it on the flip side of the gold farm, like put it on that side over there. Uh, or put it on that side, uh, on the other side of this walkway that's growing up over here. So you'll have the gold farm storage over here, and you'll have the trading farm storage over here. And uh, eight of those guys. 
happily giving us stuff. So I might just go grab some netherrack and uh, <laughs> try to get more of them. Uh, I'm probably going to have better luck in the Crimson Forest over there. Uh, although, since this is in the nether wastes, I can get them as well as the zombies. So, hmm, I don't know. That might be interesting. Let me think about that. That's kind of where I'm at with all the random randomness. Uh, oh, hello, friend. That's the other thing I got to do. I, I need to I need to work out a, a trap so those guys don't stay there. They just bother me hanging out there. Um, I'm tempted to put two trap doors and a block with an egg. So that way these guys go running for the egg and then just fall to their doom. Um, although I wouldn't mind having a, uh, a hopper collecting stuff too. Cause I don't think the zombie zombified piglin drown since they are technically undead mobs. Um, I just thought of a bad idea that I hope Mojang doesn't do that. If they end up in water long enough, they turn into like some sort of drowned zombified pigmen. What would that even look like? What kind of horror would that provide? Never mind. I don't want to know. All right. Uh. All right. I got a stack and a bit of rockets. So that's kind of that's kind of where things are at. I might just uh, I might just work on that roof. Although, I could also run to the nether and, and start finding an area for a wither skeleton farm. Because we're going to need a fair bunch of wither skulls. Uh, going to need at least one more for the, uh, for the pattern. And I wouldn't mind getting a couple of beacons around, around the, the mountain fortress. Um, also, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of personal storage going too. I may do that here, or I may, like, push it into the wall. I'm looking at a couple of different multi-item sorting things, just so that way I can play with a couple of different designs. Um, for when it's my turn to do the full server, server-wide storage. Um, I just, I like to have a little bit of private stock in case I'm working on something here that I can grab with a quickness. But, uh... I'm actually pretty happy with this. I need to go back and move a few things though, because like that 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 bit of terracotta looks a little out of place. Um and a few other spots. There's a couple of areas that look a little little empty that I'm gonna wanna put a couple of things in. I still wish that there were more more red stairs than just the crimson. Like uh terracotta stairs, man. Oh yeah. Come on. I know, I know. They're 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 never, they're not. All right, let me uh, let me let me prove. Oh, and I'm still not even sure that I want to do this as the floor for the for the potion room anyway, because this is going to be the potion room. Um, I need to keep in mind the limits of height, unless. Unless I make this an intentionally tall and put a balcony on this side too, like with a stairway up. I don't know why that would need to be there except for symmetry reasons. Um, although that would, uh, that would increase the amount of space I have for potion brewing stations. Like, that means I could put two up there, two down here, and use this one for the general purpose. That's that's got promise. Hmm. Hmm. 
All right, let me do one thing real quick. Uh, let me go to Cayman Jack because I'm going to um the server to my backup of the season one world. Not that one. Um, cause I want to double check a couple of things about the uh, the potions and whatnot. Loading. Please wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was double checking my math on uh on that far design. Uh where is the walkway? Okay, there's the walkway. to build that that far out that the crimson that the crimson forest was so far from where the where the main hub of activity was yikes there we go majestic and wonderful yeah, so that that full that full trading hall design, I would like to do differently this go round. Um, instead of storage coming around in a U like this, it'll be one straight line of storage. There'll be eight of these guys instead of five, no four. Yeah, because I only got four in there. Um, there'll be eight of those guys, and instead of, oh, of course, right. there we go, and instead of trying to run everything out of a hopper trail, which, uh, again, it, it, three guys max out the throughput of hoppers, so, uh, yeah. Also, I'm going to remember to silence those guys before I do this thing. I, I, I know it's wonderful to hear them go, ooh, every time they pick up gold, but that, that gets... This is the design that I want to do. So, uh, potions of healing, always useful. Regen, always useful. I got to double check what I put um, in the overworld side, too. Because I know I I know I built one of these over there too. Um, let's go over to this side because this is the part that I want to double check. So we've got the hopper that the brewing stand is on, and the comparator is pulling a signal from right above it. 19 and then one each that's right because the next item will power that which both powers the the thing blocking the hopper underneath and unpowers this hopper which has the water bottles so the three water bottles will go in and it'll keep doing that as long as there are ingredients going through and I think that there's, um, yeah, and there's another wart in there already. That's right, because you get to prime it with another wart. Okay. Um, there's the real question. Can I remember this? <laughs> Can I remember this going into the overworld? All right, we'll take a screenshot there. I'll take a screenshot there, and I will almost certainly forget it, but uh, eh, we'll try. Let me double check and see which potions I had going on in the overworld too. 
because I know I know I had a station over here somewhere. There we go. Hi, friends. Oh yeah, water breathing. We are gonna want one. Oh, I'm gonna have to do something about getting pufferfish. Healing, slow falling, and night vision. Yeah, okay. Okay. You can do that. And it's the same basic setup back here. Yep. That also means that I, I should have a pretty good idea how tight I can pack these two. Like, two of these next to each other can take up four. And that wall is six wide. Okay, so I could I could put a block, the slice of that, a block, the slice of that. Hmm. Just in case. All right. <clears throat> Let me go back to the server. Maybe another cup of coffee. Yeah, so if it's two blocks wide, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, because that's going to be two blocks jammed up against the wall, a block, two blocks, and a space. That, that's not going to be... <clears throat> that's not going to be right if I try to put that there. That is very much not going to be right. We can't have that. Hmm. So if I go block, one, two, block, one, two. Oh, wait a second. Half a... Uh... No, no, no. You are going to see too wide because you still have to have the chest for the empty water bottles. Um, oh, that reminds me. I should probably pull up these uh, screenshots I just took on my, on my other monitor. I mean, what's the point of taking reference shots if you're not going to use them? these screenshots they're useless <laughs> sorry <laughs> I could know but all right uh so maybe I won't be able to do that there let, let me find something that I can put down and tear up and uh, try to space this out I've got some spare honey blocks <laughs> that reminds me I think that um, <laughs> I keep running for that door because from the time I started hollowing this out, that's where the stairs down were. And even though I have moved them back here, not once but twice, I keep running for that side door that doesn't exist anymore. I may just have to reinstall a side door, like with a, a little one drop shaft. Just because I keep insist on doing that. Alright, the cactus is at a slow trickle. Uh, six... Six or so might be enough for a private stock cactus farm. Uh, I'll double check the the spacing and see and see if I need uh, how much wall that's going to take up because that's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. Eh, okay. Oh, that's right. You know what I came down here for. Hi guys. I need to name these guys something. I don't know what, though.
Because there's two nests with three bees apiece. Alright, uh, oh, this way. And maybe I need to make that door a little more grand, too. Oh, that was the other thing. I was experimenting with doing the polished basalt around the door. Instead of just two columns of polished basalt and leaving the chiseled basalt. Uh, sorry. Uh, deep slate. The polished deep slate. And leaving the chiseled deep slate across the top. And I, I think I might fix that and do it so the full doorway is a arch of polished deep slate. Words. So I could go like one there, one there, one there. Except that's not, mm, that's not even. Or do I just put one, two, three, four? Nope. Almost like I should have measured the walls out ahead of time. I am trying to keep in keep in with the symmetry from over there as well, so that that's part of the part of the problem. And then, uh, just a plain station there. And what? Uh, no. Nope. That's still only th three automated stations, but then again. But then if I do a second floor with a balcony around it, and so that way this whole space is one big potion burning room, I could do two more above there. Because uh, all I need, what? Slow fall, night vision, health, and then just keep the general purpose one. Okay. chest in here somewhere anyway. Maybe along there. And then have some other stuff around here. I'm not sure what else I'm going to need in a... Uh, what else would you need in a potion room? Alright, let's get those down. Um, oh, I'm going to need a water supply in here uh, to fill these... Uh, to fill up uh, water bottles. All right, I can, I can just work that into the wall over here. Um, so I can. Let's uh, Rosa, 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 Rosa. into the potion parcel. Let's get a water there. A water there. Oh, that's right. I got my stupid ice walker boots. Ah. <laughs> uh. back on before I forget and bad things happen uh, did what did I, I don't know all right maybe the button to throw stuff shouldn't be that close to the forward button uh, let me go get uh, 
three, four deep slate tile stairs. I got a box. Uh, I, I ended up boxing up all my uh, deep slate stuff. I need to actually like name it and store it somewhere. Let's play with designs a little bit. So if I put that there, that there, that there, you don't see that. And then if I go, I guess so, uh, protect the source on either side there, and then do that. That gives you an infinite water source that's uh, easily accessible. That works. I don't like that it pokes out into the floor, though. Like this. Yeah. Like a so. And like a so. Why don't you do curved stairs into the, uh, into it, out of the same material? No, I just need a small area. And really, that's, that's more than enough. Okay. What you working on? Or do you want to go uh, clear out some water at the temple? Uh, at current, I am over here in the Mesa District, uh, ripping out chunks of uh, terrain for use elsewhere. Have been for the last couple of days. You know, one tool at a time. One tool at a time. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a tool down to nothingness, get my, like, pickaxe and my shovel to almost broken, and then I'll go repair it and call it a day. Oh. <laughs> and then I'll come back later and do it again. And you so you don't have, like, a, a backup set or a tertiary set? Or, oh, wait, never mind. I know. I forgot who I was talking to. Sorry. Not yet. I mean, give me time. I, mean, I did last season. I had a shulker box full of sets of stuff <laughs> yeah that's that's why i got my little uh toolbox with an extra set of fortune and silcos an extra set of fortune and silk shovels and an extra set of fortune and silk pickaxes along with a pair of infinite zippos and uh shearing shears i, I gotta work on improving that fishing rod though say that again the shears will come in handy out here. I don't have uh, any dead bush because I've destroyed on accident. Yeah, well, yeah. I tried to go through and save as many as I could on the off chance that that happened. Cause, uh, and I think I got uh, what? I got two stacks and a little better than a quarter. To, to give you an idea of how many uh, but, dead bushes I've probably destroyed out here already. I don't want to know. Um, I've got two and almost three stacks of sticks. Well, the the dead bush can drop more than one stick, can it not? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Even still, that's a that's a lot of dead bushes. Yeah, that is a fair number of dead shrubs. I mean, you can always find more, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> if you hunt, you might be able to find them. Nah, they're somewhere out there. Somewhere. No. Over the desert. <laughs> Alright, since this is going to be a general purpose station, let me grab... Actually, I might just use barrels for all the storage in here. Oh, I'm going to need to craft up some more hoppers, too. But, I mean, if you want to go fight with fish, we can do that. <laughs> well, I mean, if you if you want to if you want to clear out some of the water, we can do that. I was I was saying if you're wanting to, we can do that. I don't know that I'm necessarily in the mood to fight with fish right now. No, oh, yeah, no, if you're not in the mood for it, don't don't even bother. 
those evil pesky fish get on my last nerve some days. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just going to take the redstone and, and set up a, a sand pusher at one edge and just start right clicking sand until it pushed out as to the piston limit. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I mean, look, automate, 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 right? I mean, honestly, that might work. <laughs> But we're going to need to get a lot more sand for that to actually function. Uh, yeah, at least an inventory or so. Somehow I feel like I'm going to need to go repair my shovel. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I can't imagine why. All right, let's, um, uh, let's do this. Let's completely junk up the area with stuff. Because that's just going to be there. That's going to be my, my general purpose one. And I, I had a hopper a minute ago. I probably put it away. Yeah, I put it away. Of course I did. Why? Why wouldn't I? just put that there so this will be my general purpose one I'll toss stuff in there I can also use it for finishing and whatnot um, matter of fact I might I might make these supply cabinets <laughs> Ooh. yeah let me uh, move that over one move that over one and turn this into supply cabinets um, do I have a sign that I can, like, leave myself notes? That works. Because I know if I don't finish it by the stream, or by the time, even halfway through the stream, I will forget that I just had that idea. I think it's cute that you said you could even, you know, halfway through, and then... What were we talking about? Exactly. I mean, we, we, we could talk about the slightly disturbing Daily Tech News Show episode. There, oh. There's a company offering a pet cloning service. Well, I don't feel like that's original. Uh, not original per se, no. But they're, they're offering the, the ability to clone your pet for, for $1,600. They'll store the DNA in case you decide you want to. And then the, it's like ten k to clone your pet. Uh. Yeah. And it's a genetic clone that's not going to live as long because it's being cloned from adult adult cells yeah every, every everybody on the panel was like i don't know how i feel about that one uh <laughs> that's uh you know i don't know like mm. ten thousand for a puppy that's not gonna last not gonna have the same well, and, and don't forget, too, that all that is, is it, it, it's more like having a genetic twin instead of an actual, like, yeah, you, you think clone and you think of the various sci-fi shows that have lied to us through all the years about how a clone is going to be exactly like, you know, exactly like it was. And that, that's not the way that goes. No, not at all life experiences and all that is what makes the wrinkles on the brain and the wrinkles on the brain is what makes the person yeah so that's just putting it in layman's terms oh, that, I was thinking I have plenty of wrinkles on the brain but that, that, that was drifting somewhere else <laughs> yeah <laughs> different wrinkles yeah yeah but but still, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a different uh, different life experiences get you get you a different puppy each time. So, mm -hmm. 
Alright, uh... So if I put the brewing stand there, there'll be ingredient, ingredient, ingredient. And then that gives me room, because the, the... The floor is going to be... What? One, two... Third block up. So one, two. That's the floor. Where the floor would be for the next one. Which I, I'm deeply considering making a balcony and just making this a tall potion brewing room. So that means if I put the brewing stand there, storage out here, brewing stand, in one, two, three ingredients. On the floor. So no, I, I could definitely bring that up one. So a brewing stand, one, two, three ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll put those there, because I can't remember how much space I'm going to need. Oh. figure out a way to get some more lights in here too <laughs> this feels like a room that should be well far better lit than any other room like th this is where you're dealing with potions and brewing and stuff uh, i don't know is it just me or does that not seem like a room that should be uh as well lit as possible no it needs to be really dark really dark what so you can yeah. mix ingredients and go oops <laughs> Well, because, I mean, some of those chemicals are probably light-sensitive and you don't want to mix them and get ill effects and stuff. Uh-huh. I mean, think of where these uh, things are growing naturally. I mean, is there any light in a uh, fortress where you where you find yes. another ward at? Yeah. Where the lava what? is. <laughs> There's not that much light. <laughs> I don't know. The, the lava seems pretty bright to me. Not where the nether ward is. But anyway, that's my that's my take on it. Now Reyes has a point. I mean, that's that's all the bad guys in the movies do it. So. Yeah, that, that's for the evil one. This isn't an evil castle. Who said? I, I mean, it's more like lawful neutral. Okay, neutral neutral. Uh -huh. Neutral adjacent? Uh, monetary neutral, maybe? If that? I'm not rest. I mean, he's trying to give his benefit of the doubt here, but I mean, <laughs> not working with me here. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that was my role. <laughs> see, see. Besides, the 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 IT security director at a previous job definitely put me as neutral good. I mean, I, I'm still a little disturbed that he had me as neutral good, but I I, I won't I won't try to pretend like that wasn't unearned. Um, I, I, I may have, uh, made sure that my software needs were met regardless of a few things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got that guy going there. That's where the brewing stand is. And I want to make sure the blocks that you can see through the system are deep slate. Or something appropriate for where, where you're looking. I'm going to have to go get some more deep slate. 
Nah, I got a few stacks of cobble. I'm not sure where the rest of that's going to go. I need to bring that out. Oh, come on. Show me the other photo. One, two, three blocks back? Okay. Because this is... Go oh, yeah, that's... Uh, that can go there. I need a one... This is where I find out that my the end of the mountain is unfortunately close. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, let me leave myself just a little bit of space in case I need to get back here. Uh, I should probably also throw some lights in there so that way I don't have to worry about lagging stuff with uh, lighting lighting updates. Um, There needs to be a hopper going in the side. And I'll definitely put that there. Since that's probably going to be visible, I'll throw that there. Some of this might be a little harder to hide than I want. Uh, where's my wool? Oh, um, medic, if you're watching, I put a couple of banners over by your place. Um. Uh, I found an anchor banner pattern on uh, Planet Minecraft. <laughs> so I, I left you two versions over over at your spot that you could copy. Uh, I wasn't sure if you wanted a gray anchor on a blue background or or the black and gray. <laughs> I found like eighty two different people claiming this one, so I have no idea who to who to give credit to. Um, There's a, there's a lot of the banners out there that it's like, um, yeah, who built this first? Uh, <laughs> and that's the Phoenix design. I I changed. I figured out how to change the colors so that way I got an orange Phoenix on a black background. Well, it's supposed to be a Phoenix anyway. I mean, it's close if you squint. And that's what I got going on the shield. And uh, I found this sword design too. Uh, I did a couple of updates too as well. I mean, I could just go back and make some taco banner patterns too. I mean, who doesn't love a taco banner pattern? Who doesn't love a taco? That's <clears throat> right. Well, I mean, I could tell you who doesn't love a taco, but <laughs> on a friendly, friendly server. And yeah, yeah. They're not. They're not uh, welcome here. <laughs> All right. So that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. And I'll put some wool there, so that way. I know that redstone components be here if I ever end up digging. Uh, what do I have a lot of for lighting? <laughs> Torches, of course. Of course, of course. There we go. The famous Mr. Torch. All right. Uh, I'm going to need a redstone dust. I'm going to need a repeater. I'm going to need to make a bunch of comparators. <laughs> and I need a torch. Well, how do you feel about them coming back with a second season of Picard? 
I really didn't feel that good about the first season, so I don't know. You know. <laughs> well, I just find it funny that they're doing it so long after the first one. It's not that long after the first one. Uh, it's been at least a year, hasn't it? No. Maybe two? Nope. No? Nope. Are you sure? I am sure. I'll start Googling, sir. Uh, the yeah. big, the biggest problem with Picard is that they're uh, they're they're getting into all the wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff and trying to retcon poor decisions okay. by by making first, it. Uh, first off, Q did. Pause. Huh? What? Hold, no, 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 no. Hold, hold your. Hold your horses for a second. You can't say that. What? The entire franchise is nothing but some wibbly wobbly time stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's like episode two of the next generation when you get Q popping up like, oh, we're going to go play as a... Uh, oh, no. Q, Q, Q definitely pops up in, in the pilot. Uh, but he's not creating alternate timelines. And that's what this is about. That somebody went back and altered the timeline, and yeah, it, it's. Mm -mm. And they got another season of Discovery going, which I also have very mixed feelings about. Um, but I don't know anything about Discovery. Uh, yeah. Well, you're probably better for that. Roaring uh, <laughs> endorsement there, yeah. Well, you know, you're, you're, you sound about as confident in uh, telling me to go watch that as I do about telling you to, you know, The Last Jedi was an awesome movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god, I think I just threw up in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, let, let's just say they messed around with a lot of stuff that they really shouldn't have. And so, uh, uh, they, they've had to do a lot of changes and I'm told that season three things really, really get a lot better and, and it, it's a lot, it's a lot better. I, I just, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, like what do you get to tell people? Oh no, by season three, we're a lot better. Uh, I'm like, come on. I gotta replenish my die kit too. Yeah, yeah. No, no offense. If you haven't told me the story by season three, I'm, I'm kind of like, yeah. Yo, what, what's what's going on here? No, don't get me wrong. I, I like a real good long, you know, show and all that. But you know, I, I expect you know. Yeah. <laughs> There, there needs to be development. <laughs> and you fighting through common world problems that we have nowadays in a world where they are beyond such issues? Well, uh, part part of the way that they're, they're getting around a lot of different stuff in uh, Picard is, is in order to fix the timeline, they get to come back to the year 2023. Yeah. Mm hmm Why? No one needs to come back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you... Oh, oh, that was a bad idea. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a bad idea to come back here. Picard's going to catch something and die. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's let's send our oldest officer back in time to you know when the immune systems were were being tested. No, that that wasn't what I was getting at with that. Uh, the the issue was more of uh, you know, hi, we're trying to save production costs. Can't you tell? Don't get mad at us. Oh well, there's that too. But. Yeah, and there there's a whole there's a whole bunch of different stuff that it's all like. You know, I, like I see what you're doing. I know why you're doing it, 
But that doesn't mean I like it. Yeah, I don't even... I don't care about your production value, okay? I, you could put... Oh, I care about the production value. I would like good production value. I don't. I don't care. I, I, I don't care if you throw a bunch of puppets in front of me, as long as it's a good story. What about Farscape? I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have some cruddy, you know, computer CGI every once in a blue moon, and you give me a bunch of puppets to uh, represent the people you can't put in makeup. There you go. I'm happy with this. You know what's best about this? Is it was all an upfront cost, because guess what? All yeah. you gotta do is reuse the puppet over and over <laughs> and over. <laughs> and if you're really smart, use the same CGI model over and mm -hmm. over from a different angle. Kind of like what they did with Firefly. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Or even Babylon 5 for that matter. But do they use the same shots over and over again? Just from different angles and inverted and stuff? Yeah. Because you got to remember, Babylon 5 was in the late 90s when CG was uh, very rough and ready. Yeah. Because I mean, that's all. That's legit. If you watch it, that's all they did in Firefly was they had like... Oh, yeah. I want to say they had 10 shots of the ship and they literally took that footage, either inverted it upside down, left, right, you know, whatever, and used it again and again. Mm -hmm. and, again. and most people don't even realize that's what was happening. Well, but again, we're talking about Babylon 5, Farscape, um... Uh, Firefly. Oh, that's right. We're talking about stories that actually had stories. Stories that were actually good. Yeah. Or that that could actually tell a story. That's that's right. Yeah. Because I can forgive all of that if you're telling me a good story. Now, if you're not telling me a good story, you better hand me the MCU. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, let, let, let's not let's not go there either. Oh, I'll I'll go there. No, on your stream, obviously, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I was Just getting not. ready to say like, I don't know. All right, uh, <laughs> I'll totally throw the mouse under the bus. They stopped telling stories like twenty movies ago. Yeah, no. Wait. Uh, I feel like I got this wrong. Uh, oh wait, no. Okay, that, that would be right. Let me cut that for the moment because I'm going to need to use this as my way back and forth. We got a dropper. A dropper. And a dropper. We got a hopper and a hopper. And that should be it. If I then put I had a barrel, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Well then, do I want to put a barrel there, or do I want to put a double chest coming out? Let's, uh... Yeah, let's do a double chest then. I don't really have a good need for a double chest, but... But if I'm going to do that... Alright, I put the glass there to kind of fog it back a little bit, and that also doesn't cut off the redstone signal. So, oh, I need uh, I need some filter material before I close all this up. Um, what 
do I have that's just floating around as junk? Stone. <laughs> so much stone. <laughs> some paper already marked off as a filter in one of my redstone boxes? I think I do. No, I got some, uh, <laughs> some seeds. <laughs> oh, except that's not enough. I need 23. And I know I don't have a bunch of extra of those floating around. Um... Go take some dripstone then. What am I gonna use dripstone for anyway? Oh, I I have no levels. I have no levels. That's right. I've been renaming a bunch of. Oh, of course it's done cooking. Ah. Alright, I know how to fix this. I know where I can get levels real quick. I really should put the gold gold boots on so that way Fred over at the door doesn't uh, get mad about it. Should I name him Fred? I need... Yeah, I'm gonna need... Eight. Well, I don't have to actually name them anything if I'm going to silence them, because all, all I'm going to do, at a minimum, I'm going to name them Silence Me. Uh, but for kicks, I wouldn't mind giving them... Oh, hang on. That's going to get... Uh, that's going to get loud. All right, that should be enough levels. Um, let's not curse splat on the roof. I mean, if all I'm going to do is name them, silence me. That that technically counts as making them named for purposes of not despawning. Uh, although I wouldn't mind, uh, I wouldn't mind naming them something else in addition to that. So that'd mean I'd need 16 name tags. Uh, fortunately, we got a bunch of librarians that we can buy them from now. So there is at least that. But that means I'm going to need eight names that actually kind of make sense for a pack of, a pack of pigmen. I'm still thinking about calling one Chop and one Bratwurst and one uh, Ribs. What, what other cuts of pig could we use for... Piglin names. <laughs> Is that wrong? I feel like that's wrong. Yeah, pork chop, pork cutlet, uh... So there, that is. The next item in should drop that out. I'm going to need... Uh, thought I had a bunch of, a bunch of stacks of these somewhere too. I know I saved them. Uh, for, for this very purpose. Oh, there we go. What goofy names did we give a bunch of zombie... Or, uh, they're not zombie. <laughs> they're not zombies yet. Uh... First one. Oh yeah, 
yeah, okay. All right. I guess I didn't need uh, all of those. I'm going to need one more to start it off. I'll get those guys in there. Get that in there. Oh, I need uh I'm gonna need to make a bunch of item frames too. I need one, two, three of those. Yeah, three of those. Um before I forget. to put that up there. I'll have to find a way to hide that. Or do, or do I just do a ring of those around above the, the deep slate? <laughs> no, I'll put a painting or something over it. Uh, I came over here for a reason. Oh, that's right, because I, I need to rename, what, three... One, two, three, three to start off. Uh, how many times did we say I was gonna forget what's going on? Cause, cause I, I'm feeling like whatever, whatever that guess was, it was undercounting. I wasn't gonna say anything at the time. So those are my named nether works. I'll put the other two there for the moment. Uh, the the golden carrots are the night vision, right? That is correct. Okay. Potion ingredients for four hundred. <laughs> These are used in the uh <laughs> What is nether wood? That's what I can do. Uh, oh, that's what I needed to do. I needed what? Another skull, so we have the last bear pattern. Uh oh, that's not going to be the last one. The, we still need the the piglin pattern that you can only get from raiding a bastion. And there's six patterns in total. Um. The, the flower charge, the creeper charge, the skull charge, the world pattern, the zombie pigment pattern, and there's one other. Oh, now I gotta go look that up. That, that, that's gonna bother me. Oh, the, the thingy pattern that you need the enchanted golden apple for. Have we found any enchanted golden apples? No. Yes? No? No, not yet. Okay. So... Hmm? No. No, not yet. <laughs> I just checked the box here. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, so. No such luck. Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> no, gotta go read more treasure maps, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
I do have the, uh, oop, oh, that's a creeper. Mm hmm Jeepers Hanging creepers. Out. <laughs> Hanging out on the path between, uh, storage and the iron farm. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Uh... I'll take what was I looking for again, Alex, for uh, for a thousand. No, I didn't even formulate that one right. Never mind. I thought I, I need this for constructing. I put buttons somewhere. I know I've got a. I, I I've made a whole bunch of them. Where where did all the buttons go? And what color red button do I want on these uh, on these walls anyway? I feel like if I'm going to go with the white and gray kind of feel, because I, I really do think that that's what I'm going to do, is the bone blocks and maybe some white concrete and cyan terracotta. Cool. Yeah. If I'm going to do the light style stuff, maybe I should do some birch buttons. I do have enough birch for buttons, right? <laughs> uh, my uh, stocks of trees are getting, are dwindling. I really got to get cracking on something to fix that. Do you read, uh... Discord chat? Uh, I saw something about some trees somewhere, but I, I was afraid to ask where you were clearing stuff out of uh, be, because I don't remember any projects requiring massive land clearing. No, I was farming uh, trees for chess for the base station out at the Oh, okay. Okay. And I got carried away listening to my audiobook and cleared out over 13 stacks of wood. So there's okay. just under nine stacks here. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I try to I try to keep at least three stacks of each variety on hand for you know random like oh yeah I need a jungle something or other, um, and since I'm building it I'm gonna need 802 of them. <laughs> oh, there's spruce here if you need it. Okay. Uh, I might before too long. I know Medic's working on the uh, on the main server storage up under here. Oh, that's right. I came over here for more redstone dust. Um, like, it's like, why did I come? Why did he even come over here? Uh, redstone dust. Hmm. <laughs> We seem to be getting low on redstone dust. Time for, for some more mining, or to uh, raise up some more clerics, or both. Yay. Huh? I said yay. <laughs> should, should we try to jam them all into that one shack? <laughs> Uh, the parsonage is a little crowded there. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> you, yes, we're all happy to have you as a part of our church. Uh, you all have to share this 3x3 three three room. Sorry, not sorry. It's <laughs> a so Steve file uh, anonymous meeting. There we go. I was like, what's going on? Uh, uh-oh. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. So we're getting kind of laggy. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck, uh, fly crawling on the floor across the nether roof. Uh, I wonder what, I wonder what, I wonder why. Because it was fine. Oh, there we go. It was fine a minute ago. <sighs> I need to remember.
remember to replace those with uh, with um, pork chops when I next find my way by the farm. That's right, and I need, I'm going to need water bottles, water bottles, um, how much glass do I have in my glass box? <laughs> uh, I need to go spend some time with our, uh, with our trading partners. So help if I remember that I had some right here. All right, so I got I got all the ingredients in here. So it should, if I push that button, did I did I no? It's not working. Or did I need to, um, okay. I needed to fill that up first. the the golden carrot I need to go get some blaze rods too um, I do want to turn that blaze spawner into a blaze farm okay well, what you doing uh, I, I gotta <laughs> yeah no not right now uh, let me let me go let me go trade uh, for some more uh, for some more fire resistance potions. <laughs> uh, we've got almost a double chest worth of them already. We should probably use. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. Then, then uh, I'll, I'll get on that in a little bit. Uh, I mean, I'll go with you. I can't help you build it, but I'll go with you and help you <laughs> clear them off while you work. All right, that that might not that might be a that might be a Friday project because I, I need to double check what I need for the design. Fair enough. I also hear you've got some free time. Maybe we can do a uh, oh. stream tomorrow or something. That's why that wasn't okay. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, stupid chests. Are you are you kidding me? <sighs> like why didn't the water bottles feed into the hopper? I don't know. Cuz <sighs> Oh Minecraft, why do you do this to me? <sighs> okay, problem solved. <laughs> Since you won't see that through there, we can fill that back up there. Fill that back up there. Cause ain't nobody gonna see that anyway. Um, 
even when you get in there. Although, I don't know. I might want to do... Do I not have any more chiseled? Where'd all my chisel go? There we go. So wait, even if you're up here, that's about that's about as good as I'm gonna get, because there's nothing I can put there. Yes. I could do that. That? get for trying to make it so that way you, you really get a decent perspective. Uh, you can see both of those. So let's go ahead and just run a couple of bone blocks across here. It's not like I gotta worry about running short of, on bone blocks. Almost. Can't believe I'm going through all this extra effort for something you're only going to see in glancing. That's the other thing I need to do. I need to go make some white concrete. I need to make that uh, that giant concrete maker too. Absolutely over engineered. As everything should be. Let's go rename this. Night vision potions. I'll have to come back through with the armor stand book and lock all these so that way uh, they don't get turned around and moved and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that there instead of blocking up that. So we got the night vision potion, the 
ingredients. Uh, I'm, I don't need a sign on that for the water bottles, and that also helps cover up some of the stuff that's going on back there. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could... I could even grab... a deep slate stair and do that and ooh, I got a bunch of I got a bunch of trapdoors I need to use anyway let's go grab a bunch of these spruce trapdoors I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't need visibility into there, but it's good to have it, especially so that way I can see, like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm running a little low on blaze powder. Uh, matter of fact, I should definitely do something about that anyway, because I've got, I've got 24 blaze powder. So if I give that guy another 12, that'll definitely, that'll definitely last a few more rounds. Uh, that's going to be chock full of another wart. I need more redstone dust because I'd like to fill that up completely. And I'm going to need more golden carrots because I'd like to fill that up completely. And then everything else is up to the walls and figuring out the walls. So I'm going to need bone blocks, white concrete. I got the cyan terracotta. So that is not a problem. Uh... Yeah. Put those there for the moment. So that's the first potion station right there. That's the general purpose station right there. Let me go ahead and get uh I should have some more. Um I got some more blaze powder around here somewhere. Alright. I think I'd intended to put that somewhere else, but there it goes. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I wonder what supplies I'm going to keep stocked there. Probably all the stuff that's not going into the other potions. Like, there's no point in keeping keeping golden carrots in the supply cabinet if it's all going to go into the main, the main potion thing. So, I'll figure this out when I get there. Um... Then it, all right, uh, so that's that one. I almost want to put a secret door into into these caverns too. Something something I can tuck in that corner there. I, I don't know why. It, for no good reason. For absolutely no good reason. Other than it would be fun, because it would be fun. All right, I'll figure out the rest from there. So that's gonna be some deep slate tile. Because we're gonna have the double chest there. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to make a lot more hoppers. I'm gonna need to make a trip over to the, uh, <laughs> did, I, did I put something different under, under that? I think I did. Let me go get my gray wool. I need more than just the one. Alright, I think I'm going to need to run back to storage so I can get more gray wool. Um...
I'm running a little low. I only brought a stack over here. I mean, I just built this thing. How hard could it be to remember to put it together that I just, I just built it? I... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I uh, don't, don't. Not going there. This is me not going there. <laughs> oh, this is me turning my hostile mob sounds back on because I'm a knucklehead over oh. there to the nether <laughs> without being able to hear anything. Yeah, that 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 does not seem wise, good sir. That does not seem wise at all. Yeah, it was that moment when I got withered in the back that I oh. was like. <laughs> He knew he'd done messed up. Yeah. That, that, like, pause screen happened in my head and that meme played. Mm-hmm. Try to be resource efficient. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cram this full of everything. Well, this is a hot mess in a small space. <laughs> hot mess, small space. That's what we're known for here on uh, Coffee Craft. <laughs> yeah. Hot mess in a small space. Isn't that what happens when you uh, forget to put the coffee pot all the way, all the way in? Oh wait, no, that's a hot mess in a big space. <laughs> yeah. No, hot, hot mess in a little space is when you're not paying attention and you're pouring. Hmm. Then it just, there we go. You know, you know. When the when the lid kind of dribbles a little extra coffee. Uh. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Because yep. it's not everywhere. It's just down the front of your shirt, specifically on days when you have meetings and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or worse, your lap. I mean, depending. Yeah, depending. <laughs> All right, uh... I need a repeater, a comparator, and a torch. And to craft up a bunch of both of those. Because I am running low on all of the above. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. That's gonna come off of there. And a bridge and a bridge. Oh, wait. And the signal. And the signal. Right. Mostly. Oh, that's right. I want to make this pretty, so we'll put that there. Like a princess. Uh. Are you helping? Because it doesn't seem like you're helping. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to be helping. My bad. No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you say that to Ray S. Off and off, I figure, you know, yeah, no, no. I know. Favorite. I know. I deserve it. I deserve it. <laughs> saying that to a lot of people nowadays. What? I didn't know <laughs> I was supposed so to be helpful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't blame you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy to have helped. There we go. 
three. Oh, I forgot to grab the droppers. Let's see if I can put those in without that anyway. Um, I know I'm going to have to tear that back out in a minute, but uh, I, I need something to, to work with. Uh, running low on composters too. Three droppers, dispensers, droppers. Yeah. I already had my inventory because, of course, I did. Because <laughs> why wouldn't I? Oh, good. They all went the correct direction anyway. Alright, and I was gonna put... Uh, wait, that doesn't look right. I think that's supposed to go up one anyway. Yeah, because that's going to power into that hopper there. And the glass is going to go right there. And right there. And the torch was going to go right there. And I need, I need more, more filter dripstone. not like I could worry about running out. There's a whole dripstone cavern beneath me somewhere. Probably more than one. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I, I started looking around at some of the stuff <laughs> at following tunnels and, and there's, there's, oh, there's so much down there. It's not even funny. with a uh, gas got three <laughs> tears and uh, didn't want to go in the lava. Yeah. No, that, that that's fair. That's very fair. He didn't think so. He wanted to drop them in the lava because, you know, they're spiteful kitties and all that, so... Three quarters of what we need to summon the dragon again. Well, three well. quarters of the tears we need. Hey guys, come here. Right. Um. Double 
chest. I feel like I got like 82 chests floating around in different places too. Oh, don't you? I, I, I'm sure I do. <laughs> There we go. We got a proper double chest set up this time because thank you, Minecraft. Um, I need a little bit of cyan terracotta. I'm going to need some more bone blocks. I guess I got a couple. Of three, come here. Oop. How y'all doing? If you want to donate a head, oh. cause. Oh yeah, I, for a second there, I, I thought you were going after the uh, the the tears for more of the to run the dragon a couple more times. Well, I might as well do that while I'm here. Yeah, because I know I know that is still on that is still on the agenda, right? Everybody's still on board for that. No, no. no. I meant I might as well kill the withers while I'm here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> while I wait for more gas to show up. Okay. And I need some more redstone dust. What should I put in there? A stack? Uh, why do I keep running around for the anvil over there? I got a bunch over here. Okay. Well, that gas was not as friendly. We are at four. <laughs> woo -woo. That is a dragon. Man, your stream. What? <laughs> I'm over here moderating your stream at the same time I'm playing. Oh. And all of a sudden I hear that clank of the anvil and I'm like, oh, oh Lord, what, what nether monster is that? <laughs> <laughs> put a minotaur in here or something? What kind of update did I miss? <laughs> I don't know. That would be a really cool nether monster, though. Of a charging minotaur. Mm, don't 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 give them ideas. You don't really want them to start start taking advantage of uh, that. That no no. Mm -mm. Why not? You, you say that now. It, it'll be like the Phantom, where everybody's like, "Oh yeah, that's pretty cool." No, no, man. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Did we make a mistake? I think we made a mistake. I don't, I don't like the phantom. I don't like sleeping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I still think that's the part that really irks me most of all is everybody voted for the stupid thing. Like, <laughs> you knew what you were getting. Yeah, I know. You knew exactly what you were getting. And you voted for it because it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yep. Peer pressure. Uh, do we have any phantom membranes somewhere? No, because for the most part, everyone stays asleep or people sleep for other people. Okay. So we haven't really been farming on that much. All right. What few of them I have been able to get my hands on have already been turned into slow falling potions and are in the box over well, there. Well, I mean, I, 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 I got killed by a phantom trying to get the creeper heads. Oh well, that's that's sad. What, what else has killed me? <laughs> All right, I've killed one bat, but I've never been killed by a bat. I've killed eighty-three blaze, but never been killed by a blaze. Uh, we'll skip over the cat, but I've never been killed by a cat. Wait, I was about to say you, <laughs> <laughs> you were killed by a cat. Hold on, let's not skip that. <laughs> Uh, I've killed four cave spiders, not been killed by one yet. I've killed 75 chickens. They've not killed me yet. 
Uh, <laughs> 42 cows, never been killed by a cow. I've killed 60 creepers, and I've been killed by a creeper four times. <laughs> uh, a couple of those happened while I was trying to get the uh, creeper heads, too. Uh, more than the one I was luring into the trap uh, happened to come by. And that's when I realized that I really needed to be doing this with the shield as well. <laughs> uh, I killed 59 drown, never been killed by one. Uh, it says I've never killed the ender dragon. No, that's right. I didn't do the killing blow on the ender dragon that last time. But the ender dragon's killed me once. I've killed 100 endermen, never by can't been killed by one. Two endermites, never been killed by one. Four evo I've killed four, but I've never been killed by an evoker. Ten gas, never been killed. Thirty glow squid, never been killed. Three goats, never been killed. Three guardians, not been killed. Three hoglins, not been killed. When did I kill three hoglins? Oh, that was probably earlier on when in the early nether... Explore. Oh, yeah, because I forgot that I needed to wear gold. Um, <clears throat> uh, I got killed by an iron golem. I was trying to fix one of the earlier iron farms by getting rid of some of the wandering iron golems. One of them got a little too close. <laughs> one of them got a little handsy with you. Yeah. 190 magma cubes? I was not expecting that to be the first three-digit number I ran across. Well, I guess second since the Enderman was also 100, but still. Uh, wow, I, I was not expecting that one. I've killed four phantoms, and I've been killed by the phantom once. 49 pigs, I haven't been killed by one. Killed two piglins, and piglins have killed me twice. <laughs> Uh, they've killed 99 blaze. They've killed me once. Uh, uh, this is interesting. Creepers have only killed me twice. Oh, oh no. No, there's the number. 3,985 skeletons, but I've been killed by skeletons 10 times. Hey, here's a funny one for you. Mm-hmm. I've killed two iron golems, but they've killed me five times. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Vex have killed me twice. Vindicators have killed me three times. I've not been killed by a wither skeleton so far, but I've killed 36 of them. And I've not gotten any wither skeleton heads. How many shulkers have you gotten? Because I've gotten 162. Uh, 80. Um, 11 wandering traders happened to jump in front of my sword. It was weird. There's got to be a glitch in the pathfinding. Seventeen hundred and thirty spiders. Oh, yeah, spiders are going to... Because, uh, 3,429 spiders... I, I kind of figured the spiders and the skeletons were going to be a little off because we've used those two XP farms. <laughs> um, tw uh, 20 uh, turtles. <clears throat> yeah, one might have accidentally been in the way of an X. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 176 zombies. I've been killed by them twice. And a zombified piglin got me once. 76 wither skeletons. Oof. Now here's the statistic thing that I'm really interested in. How many wither skeletons have you killed? Uh... Hang on. I, I just had that. Thirty-six. And how many skulls have you gotten? No, I did pick up one. Okay. I have killed double your amount and have had enough of them that I was able to make two beacons. Wow. Yeah, just statistics here. Just, you know, just curious.
Yeah, I'm going to have to work on getting some more water bottles in here too. Although we'll have more water bottles than we know what to do with once the piglin trading farm gets going too. So maybe I won't. Alright, that's primed and ready. The only thing I'm missing are the phantom membranes. And I can start doing some potions of slow fall. Alright, this is coming together. Alright, I need uh, I need to go make some... Uh, I need to go make some concrete too. How much concrete? And what am I gonna what am I gonna build the platform out of? Something that's gonna mix with bone blocks, cyan, terracotta, and uh, and white concrete. Should I do it out of the deep slate? That way it kind of ties in with the uh, the wainscoting down here. Because it's not going to be a big walkway, it, and I need either stairs or a ladder going up, or maybe a maybe a bubble column. All right, let me go grab some white dye. stack of gravel, <laughs> a stack of sand. I got so much of both. I, I gotta find a better, I gotta find a better storage. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that, uh, <laughs> that ends up giving me two stacks of powder. That should be in, that might be close to enough, possibly. We'll see. Wouldn't be the first that I'm that, that I've looked at something and got, oh yeah, that's more than enough. Oh no, no, it's not. Yep, definitely got to get that TNT concrete maker going. Because this is my life. Oh, back there. too far. But two stacks. That is my two stacks of concrete. There we go. And I think... That's where the balcony is going to be. Yep. That's what I get for using honey blocks as a temporary block. <laughs> slime farm right oh yeah but the honey blocks were right here and the slime was over there all right so that means I need to figure out something that's gonna fit in those two in that two block wide gap and then we'll continue up 
hacks. I wonder. Um, let's grab the stack of concrete and the cyan terracotta. Let's try offloading some of the stone first. So we'll uh, I will mix them all in. And then do I want them out like no, no, I don't want that dark spot in there. I almost wonder if I should do the quartz instead of the bone blocks. Maybe. Hmm? Maybe. Depends on the light level in the room. Yeah. Because the quartz is going to have a almost uh, pearlescence to it, but the bone is going to look dirty and dingy. Um, but again, either of those is going to be if you have a high light level. If there isn't a high light level, you're not going to notice either way. That's fair. So it's just a matter of which one do you want, brighter or darker. Magma cubes. Yeah. Yeah, there's actually a, uh, the bastion right there by our main portal uh, has a uh, magma. Yeah, farm, spawner. Uh, spawner. Uh, have we actually got, has anybody gone through and raided that thing? I have mostly, but there are two chests at the very bottom with a bunch of gold blocks and stuff that is mm -hmm. right next to that magma spawner that I and Medic were unable to reach. Okay. Because I, I, I was wondering if, uh, if the banner pattern had been pulled out of there or not. It might actually be in there, because that is a huge bastion. The problem is... is yeah, I just wasn't going to go roaming around the bastion willy-nilly if uh, somebody had already raided all the chests. You know what I mean? That, that yeah, no. I, I, I prefer the whole long-term survival thing. Yeah, no, I get it. But we are going to need uh, more hands on deck for that one. Ah, gotcha. I would rather go naked and afraid against the dragon than go in there alone <laughs> again. <laughs> that bad, huh? Oh, it's rough. I ain't going to sugarcoat it for you. Like, they come after you from all angles. They fall on top of you from the floors above because there's holes everywhere throughout <laughs> the floorboards. So, I mean, you're just as likely to fall several floors as you are for them to fall on top of you. Hmm. And I'm not talking about just regular piglins. I'm talking like the brutes. That's brutal. It is. It's crazy in there. It's crazy town, man. Dogs and cats <laughs> living together. I, mean, I, I was waiting for that. <laughs> Ooh, 
I should get some lighting up there. Uh, okay. Ooh. At least until I figure out what I'm going to do for actual lighting. Because I would just as soon not have something spawn on the shelf above me and then drop down while I'm in the middle of working on the potion brewing room. That would be all sorts of tragic and unacceptable. <laughs> what? Nothing would ever happen like this. Oh yeah, no. No, with my luck, it'd be smooth sailing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Piglin brutes don't just drop in on people's heads, no. No. I wonder if they turn into uh, zombified piglins in the overworld like the regular piglins do. Yes. Oh, okay. I was going to lock one in your house. <laughs> <laughs> not, not this season, mind you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not a whole lot of room. All right, let's, uh... Just put a glass something or other there. All right. Um, hmm. What am I going to do about lighting in here? Get that one. Oh, well. Because the floor, the floor, the floor is not enough. I mean, it's enough to keep bad things from happening, but it still seems a little too dark. What is this we? Not mine. <laughs> Her room. You decorate it. Uh... Not hard enough time figuring out what to do over at the castle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta figure out what kind of furniture I want to put together for the for the dining room. Try that. We'll work with that for a little bit. Kind of give it that industrial lighting feel. Maybe I'll put some uh, iron trap doors over that too. Although that kind of ruins the purpose of having a, a see-through, because this is supposed to give the feeling of a of a full room. Like a more unified room. And I still need a way up and down. I might, I might put a bubble column there. And then a down column here. Boom. Got it. Got what? Got the skull. Ah. <laughs> I both happy and frustrated. <laughs> Why? Why? I, well, I'm happy because he got the skull. I'm frustrated because of how much time I've spent trying to get those stupid things to no result. Well, I mean, you leave the zone, you basically you burn a lot of rockets. You fly out the tunnel. Uh, you, you, no, no, no. You, you, you're missing. You're missing the point of frustration. <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's why I don't put one there. I was like, why don't I just put another potion brewing station there? Because uh, I got the other room on this side. <laughs> <sighs> and 
the same reason why that one doesn't go there, so I guess we're at this one. chance to drop so uh yeah yeah you know i i feel like going never tell me the odds but <laughs> that would be a proper movie for a more civilized time <laughs> tutor <laughs> i know more more so than it has any right to be <laughs> figure out what I'm going to do for that supply cabinet too. finish filling in the entire wall there. Alright, so that's gonna go there. That's gonna go... No. Yes, no. Oh, that needs to go one further back. That's why that wasn't quite working out. Okay. You said you needed blaze rods? Yeah. What else? Uh... I'm not sure yet. It's gonna go up on. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, because I, I, well, I don't need them, need them like right this minute, need them. It's one of those things that I, I had on my agenda, so that way, uh, potion brewing and anything else that we could use Blaze for, um, would not be an issue. Of course I put that in the wrong spot. almost want to rework the door so that way villagers couldn't get through it and put like three or four villagers in here so it looks like I have staff running around manning the potions <laughs> like that no <laughs> I was like what, what just walked in <laughs> Awesome. I want to give this a uh, a quick test while I'm here to troubleshoot. What's the magma key? Uh, the magma's the strength potions, right? No. Uh, Fire resist. Mag yes. Yeah. Blaze rod fuels it and does the strength. 
Okay. That's right. The blaze pow the blaze powder was the uh Yeah. Yes. Blaze powder fuels it and does the strength. Yeah. And there it goes. Blaze the rod. The only thing it does is uh, make the stand. And makes the powder and makes the brewing stands. Yeah. Sweet. That works. It works. It's alive. Slow falling, night vision. Um, what am I going to do on this side? last torch my next to last comparator <laughs> yeah I, I no I definitely I need to I need to work a different door and get one two three four villagers in here that'll give me clerics to trade with and it'll look like I have staff chuckling about <laughs> who, who doesn't want staff <laughs> the person's gonna pay him uh, I'll, I'll give him I'll give him stuff stuff why do I feel like I'm doing this wrong I mean I've only built three of these just now Call it a night after this. What if I'm having this much trouble remembering the thing that I just built? <laughs> oh, let me go grab three. No, three droppers that I have in my inventory. One, two, three. Let me grab one more composter. Two, 
There's the three hoppers. I need my filter stuff. My 19 and then the four more. some decorative blocks in that row there so that way if you do peek through it doesn't look as bad the decorative blocks that I have right there Beautiful. I need a black glass so that way I can get a little bit more of a fog right there. That doesn't cut off the redstone signal. Everything else is good. Nothing in here is spawnable. That torch should keep light level issues from causing laglicious badness. Look at all these caves. Eh, they can stay. I need... A button. I need a blaze powder. I need a stack of nether wart. And I need to figure out what I'm going to make this last one out of, as well as... Grabbing my last hopper and two more chests. Because my last hopper is going to go into the side there. One chest, two chest. Oh, I just. <laughs> Sometimes I am not smart. I just realized that uh, if I put those colored blocks over the chest, that's not going to work. Alright. Real talk. How, how much do I think I'm really going to need out of... what I could do is a barrel instead. I don't like that the barrel would be inset like that, but yeah, that's what I was afraid of too. Some more water bottles hiding there. Yep. Water, water, water. And then I can go ahead and put the same decorator of blocks that I had there. Um, I can put that there.
and then I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. I mean, I could, I could put the double chest back one anyway, because I don't, I don't think I have anything that would, uh, yeah, because, uh, I could put the double chest over that redstone and it wouldn't be a problem either. But do I really need a double chest of water bottles? I don't, I don't think I do. And that would also neatly fill that up so that way I gotta worry about seeing less of that background there. Yeah, I'll stick with the barrel. Yeah, I'll stick with the barrel. Alright, um... I... don't have any barrels. I need to go craft some up. All right. All right. Yeah, let, let me wrap up these potion. Hello? I uh, use the skeleton. Or is that because I'm near the edge of the mountain? I know, I didn't need 17 barrels, but uh, with as many times as I've needed... Hey, I need a barrel. Um, that, that I kind of figured that might be worth uh, just going ahead. <clears throat> hmm? Do a barrel roll. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> really? That's the coffee craft version of being rickrolled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I need to put the blaze in there. I need break that down. Oh. <laughs> Cuz that needs to be another wart up there. frames. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, Beat Chuck. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, I'll just tear through more of this jungle wood. Nice thing about jungle wood is that, uh, it's easily farmed. <laughs> Jungle wood and spruce are the two easiest to come by if you're ever running short on uh on lumber. I need to go collect some more leather. Because I only had enough for 25 cents. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I gotta, I gotta finish fixing that in a second. Um... renamed another wart and then I guess the middle one depends on what what kind of potion this is um, so I got the night vision the slow falling um, I'm not worried about fire resistance 
What's the one thing we're going to need a bulk of? Uh, the health potions? That's the glistering melon, right? Yes. Is that one of the ones that we're going to need in bulk? You think? It's a toss-up between preference at that point. Some people prefer rejuvenation. Some people prefer... Uh, yeah, I, I do. I do tend to prefer the instant health. Uh, oh bother! I need, I need another level. <laughs> I'm so close to a level. There's something to smelt. Because I know, I know that both of these, I know both these furnaces have to have enough XP. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize I had that much XP stored up. Yikes. I wish I had done that earlier. 13 levels worth of XP just chilling over in a... Okay. Uh... I need to get some more glistering melon slices. I, I got... I got some in here. Oh, water breathing. That was the other one that that uh, we were gonna need in bulk, wasn't it? Although, never mind. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, a couple more of these stations up there anyway. So, uh, where, where's the sign so I don't forget? Uh oh, what you doing running around here? Why Why do I always get nervous when you're running around my base? Nervous you make me. <laughs> All right, water breathing. Because honestly, these are the ones that I'm going to need immediate or, or more readily accessible. Accessible up there will be the stuff that it's nice to have in bulk for when we need it, like the water breathing. And I might make a more extensive choose your own. That's going to take up more space. Choose your own adventure. Mm hmm. I still need to put together a supply cabinet. Um, I like the banner. Oh, thank you. Because that's what the flower charge and the... Uh, oh, that's a lot more than I was expecting. Death Knight Shield. <laughs> that's nice. Did you make just the one banner? Because uh, I've taken to making multiples, so that way if I want I want more of it, I can uh, make a copy of it. No, no, there's several copies on the wall over at the castle storage. Okay. And you can make your own copies if you want them. Yeah. I made it in three different colors. Um, there's also a Hyrulean shield. <laughs> and, nice. Uh, if you'll turn your back to that wall for a minute and dig in a chest or something for a minute or two. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got your back turn? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Oh, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It won't work. What? You won't hold shields. Uh not until you not until you get out the armor stand book and then set the arms to visible. I got it from your storage. So oh. I was like, why are you giving me an armor stand? <laughs> That's for you. Oh. Nice. Oh yeah, that that is nice. I like that. I like that. Oh, 
I, I also named that Phoenix one plus one shield is staying alive. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let me keep that one in there. I keep rearranging what I what I have in the backpack. Put everything on it that I think you can put on it, plus the uh, pattern. Yeah, as far as I know, mending and unbreaking are the only two that you can have on that. Although, so that way when we're digging through stuff and we know it's mine, because I, I preface all my stuff with plus one. <laughs> that, well, that's, that's more well, than it, it, one. Except for my trident. Uh, that's a plus three trident of poking. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Actually, uh, Reest decided my naming uh, system this season, and oh. it actually makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, all my stuff starts with A. Okay. For example, it's A plus five dragon turtle. And the stuff she gave me, it's A pick a chew. Oh. A serial killer, because it's a shovel. Yeah. Asks you a question starts with an A, so everything starts with A, and then my trident is a fishy fork. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I, I thought that was interesting. I do need to save up the butt ton of levels I need to rename my lightsaber though, because it right now it's just blue lightsaber. I need to change it to a blue lightsaber. But I may wait until I get it to Netherite and then change it to something completely different. Yeah, N Netherite is on the agenda for me as well. Um, that is a slow and arduous task, so I'll probably save that for off camera. <laughs> yeah. At least my part of it. I don't know what you'll do with yours, but I don't think there's much enjoyment in watching someone blow holes in another floor for hours in the end. I don't know. Depends on how you do it. Because Rayest and I make it made a pretty good go of a stream doing that. I guess. I mean, me, I mostly just die a couple of times to exploding beds and lava. But um, I definitely. Oh, no, that's the dropper. I need that. Um, I definitely want to uh, try to get one of those TNT tunnel bore type deals and try that. And see if that makes uh, running through the nether more fun. I mean, I'm, well. come on. I'm pretty sure that'll make it more fun. Uh, melon slice uh, for the health potions, that's the that's the uh, glowstone, isn't it? The glowstone dust? To make a, a level two potion? To go up in level, it is glowstone. To okay. increase duration is redstone. Yeah, no, I, I just, I can't remember if the health has a, no, because it's instant health, it wouldn't have a duration. No. Uh. Regeneration potions have a duration, so you have to make the choice between yeah. two, but. Um, Not for. How did I? We do have some dragon's breath if you're wanting to make lingering potions, also. Oh, I was like, how did how did I run short a button? Because I already had one in my inventory. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, I need one more another wart, so I can. Prime this because that is a full dropper of nether wart. That's a little bit of glowstone dust. I need to go get some more. That's a small number of glistering melon slices and prime the system. I got water bottles, and when I hit the button, I should end up with some more. Uh, more potions. That is a hot mess for a little room. I, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> all right, I might need.
need to keep some armor stands in there, I guess. I'll put the barrels in there. Uh, oh, that's right, the item frames go in there. Uh, the I'll also point out that the chiseled deep slate mm -hmm. makes it also look like you have a ton more shulker boxes than you actually have. So. Oh, <laughs> they, they, do, they do have a little bit of a shulker box feel to them. Yeah, yeah. have any... No, I do have some gray wool to put away. I'm going to have to top that off before this is done. Banners. I don't have any dyes on me, so that can go away, but that will need to... I'll have to top off the dye kit. I don't... No, I got some black glass on me. I really need to get a reserve of each color glass, too. Uh, let me get my deep slate put away. For now, toss that there for the moment. Um, what did I have up there? Night vision, water breathing, fire. Um, that's my portable potion box for all my traveling potion making needs. I don't have anything else I need to put in there. Oh wait, no, that's right. I gotta, whatever this is not, cause I don't, I don't need a stone cutter in my potion brewing room. Um, do I need a crafting table in the potion brewing room? I don't feel like I need a crafting table in the potion brewing room. I think what I might do. Let's go like that. And like that. And I might put something else on top of that too. I don't need an anvil in the potion burning room. I could put that back. Stone put away. I feel like I might need to put a carpet in the middle to cover up those uh, shroom lights. I need the shroom lights for the lighting to make sure that this is this is brighter. But uh, I don't. I don't like the way they blend in with the floor. Or I need to come up with a different floor design. Maybe I borrow... Maybe I borrow the uh, terracotta concrete. No, because no matter what, that's not going to fit. So I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'll have to put a carpet down. Definitely putting the carpet down. I'll figure that part out later. Uh, oh! This. I needed to fix this. Um, let's just go ahead and get ourselves a little access here. And I put away my barrels already. Because <laughs> of course I did. I am more than marginally absent-minded. Is that really all the water bottles? I could have sworn I had more in there. Okay. I mean, 
technically at that point, I, I only need a barrel for storage too, but on the other hand, I, I like having more in reserve and just a few ready to go. Although I might come back and change that to a double chest and pop it back. Nah. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. project box that I can drop the rest of these materials in. Oh, hey, there's a bunch of bone blocks. There's some nether wart. Uh, I was looking for a pressure plate. Oh, yeah, I still got to work on supply closet and putting a bunch of this stuff away. get a breathe over there. Alright, uh, let's pack as much of this up into warp blocks as I can just for storage space. Um, why do I have sugar? No, uh, sugar's for speed potions, I think? Yeah, okay. Speed potions. Um, thanks. <laughs> that 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 was the very the very the very off camera. Yes. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. get one more coffee. Uh, I want a little bit of extra random redstone for extra projects. I need the gunpowder for extra projects. I need to get more uh, glowstone dust. I got the foot. Um, I got a lot of the magma cream. A uh, couple of spare fire resistance potions. That's right. I'm only keeping that as blaze powder. I'll store my spare blaze rods there. Um, I only need the one brewing stand in my emergency kit. I mean, how often am I going to need more than one? Which is why I probably also don't need 61 glass bottles in there, but... I'll sort that out later. I gotta figure out what I actually do and don't want in that thing anyway. Uh, the brewing stands I'll put in my portable workshop for now. I guess, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll sort out the supply cabinet later. I'm not sure how I'm going to work that out. But uh, I want a place to put uh, a backlog of miscellaneous potions that, like, don't have a home anywhere else in here. Because um, I'm probably going to build two more of these up there, one more up there. Or, no, I was going to build the giant, uh, the giant choose-your-own-potion-maker up near the top. Of course, once I do that, I might tear that out and put something else in there in its place. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. I'll think about it. What else would make sense? Oh! Yeah, if I tear that out, that could be where my... Um, Water elevators up and down go. Yeah, and then I'll put the supply cabinet and the choose your own potion maker up near the top along with a couple, yeah, you know, at least one, possibly two more. Okay, yeah. That, that, uh, that could be it. That could be it. 
I'll have to think about that. I'll definitely have to think about that. Mm. Yeah. I might, yeah. Uh, where's, where's another sign so I can leave myself notes? <laughs> The signs are about to be good. Yeah, l let's be honest. Signs are the sticky notes of Minecraft. I, I just need to, like, I, I swear, sometimes I think I just need to make a stack of signs and have them handy so that way I can, for moments just like this. Uh, let me grab... Those and some of those, and we're about to make some bright green signs. There we go. Or elevators here. Usable brewer upstairs. Is that going to be enough to remember what I needed to do? <laughs> oh, that's hopeful of me, isn't it? I'm going to need to. Oh, I'm going to need to find a place to put another infinite water source up there as well. Probably in the wall, just like I did that one. Ooh, although I don't have, uh, I don't have enough floor, or do I? I'll find that one out the hard way. Yeah, the more I think about it, I'll put an up elevator here, a down elevator here, and then, uh, instead of a manual choose your own, I'll set up a panel of droppers with buttons that I just have to tap. Um... Matter of fact, let me grab some of that, some of that, because I just need the droppers for this. The droppers do not require the bows. I think it's just the dispensers that require the bows. So I should be able to go eight, nine. Yeah. There we go. I find myself going, I might actually need to go farm some cobble <laughs> for crafting. Oh wait, no, never mind. I got a whole nother double chest. All right. That gives me the droppers to really get fancy. So yeah, I think on the second floor, I might uh, I might set stuff up so that way in, um, there'll be water breathing here. Um, what was the other one that I said that I might keep up here? Strength? Where's my chart of potions? Um, either strength or invisibility. Ooh. No, because I don't think I could do invisibility with that one because I'm going to need... I'm going to need more ingredients than that thing actually does, and all I'm doing is corrupting a potion of night vision, which I'm going to be able to brew in bulk anyway, so, all right. Um, uh, I'm not going to worry about fire resistance. I might, I might have some regen up here. Yeah, strength of regen. All right. More region. And a choose your own potion brewer. 
might have to put a little uh, roof over some of this so that way uh, I don't accidentally drop things into the redstone there. That, that would that would not be fun. All right, I got some notes, and I'll have a way to get up here so the elevator will be up on that side. I'll still have the balcony out here for no good reason other than symmetry. Although, I guess some people would argue that that is a good reason. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a finishing station. Or, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Uh, let's... Let's go ahead and just keep a uh, finishing station right there. So, that will go up there I'll have a finishing station there so if I need to corrupt the uh, night vision potions into um, whatchamacallit uh, invisibility potions I'll have something here that, that I don't know I'll think about that I keep going back and forth on that, because I might even be able to build the elevators with that right there. Yeah, no, I'm tapped out. I'm done. I am so done. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's one of those things where you, where you keep thinking about it. It's like, well, I mean, I, I could I could keep going a little bit for it. No, I'm I'm done. I'm sur I'm running around in circles. There, there's, there's no, there's no finishing that. Uh, I, I will get some coffee in a minute. Right now, I want to say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is always Coffee Craft. Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is up for grabs. Just depends on what's going on. I will eventually get back to Games Revisited. I do not have an ETA. Uh, there's personal stuff going into that. Uh... And I might be doing a little bit more with the guitar stuff at some point, too. Uh, possibly very, very soon, because I am late for... I mean, it's, I can still register for the Great Guitar Build-Off, but I got a couple of things that I got to do to get that squared away, and I'll be... Uh, I'll need to film my kit build for that. Um, and I got to... I, Part of the reason why I didn't get a lot of sleep last night is I went down a rabbit hole <laughs> looking, uh, I went looking for pickups to put into a cigar box guitar, and, and I, I got down a rabbit hole of wiring diagrams for Pezio electric pickups, or Pezio electric pickups, depending on who, which video you're watching, um, or Pizo electric pickups, again, depending on which, which video you're looking, um. And also came across the plans for uh, a home-built lap steel and a home-built electric upright base that were published in Popular Science in the 60s and 70s, along with uh, the plans for a Russian folk instrument that I do not yet have the woodcraft skills to actually do, but uh, that might be that might be on the agenda at some point as well. Uh, who knows? All right, let's go. Let's go raid uh, Beast Lord, and uh, he's playing Final Fantasy Origin. Ooh, I gotta see how this is. Uh, I yeah, I, I am a fan of the Final Fantasy series, uh, especially seven. But uh, yeah, all right, let's go raid. Have fun. I'll see you next time. Stick around for the raid.